Ashley Heath and we've just parked up and we're on the Castleman Trailway and obviously that way you can go to Moores Valley Country Park and Ringwood, Ringwood two and a half miles and uh, proper Castleman Trailway signs, not old ones. This way, which is towards the west, Westmore's two and a half, Pool fourteen and a half, and pedestrians have priority um, over cyclists. Cyclists should ring their bells, and we're on National Cycle Route two five six. So this strange metal construction is to stop horses going through that way because we want horses to come this way and then um, they can, uh, the rider can press the button there without getting off the horse because that's um, six foot high because here is a pedestrian walkway. But I don't think we're doing them any harm to get off the horse really, would it? And there is the sign to give guidance. This is the Ashley Heath halt on the Castleman Trailway, and this end of it has got the proper um, platform overhangs, whereas further up it's been repaired with uh, old concrete railway sleepers. And it's a tribute to the vision of concrete. Um, we're told it's 1927. And if I think back to 1927, they were using a lot of concrete in those days. Um, you know, concrete used for, um, well, I'm thinking about air raid shelters, but of course that was a little bit later, but uh, um, there was a lot of concrete used. And beautiful tree up there, just sets, sets the scene off. Beautiful foliage. It is September, so the trees are changing colours now. And we are pedestrians today, so we've got priority. And a few poppies in the side there, giving us a bit of colour. In 1847, the Southampton and Dorchester Railway was opened, creating Dorset's first main line railway link to London. It became known as the Castleman's Corkscrew, after its key sponsor and its winding route. The Walls Bridge level crossing was installed across Horton Road and later manned by the shopkeeper of the Old Forge, now the one-stop shop. In 1927, Ashley Heath Halt was added with two long platforms and simple waiting shelters. Unusually, the title Halt was not mentioned in the name boards. So all sorts of people use the Castleman Trailway um, and I've just spotted some people here. I won't say what they are because that's bad, bad filming to say what type of, say things what you can actually see in the picture. So now we're really getting onto the heath. And this piece of the railway line is actually a slight embankment. So down on that heath down there, I mean, that could be sort of like floodplain. And I wouldn't have thought that's very much above sea level. It's got some fairly recently planted pine trees down there and some sapling silver birches about, but it, it is it is literally heath um, on, on the edge of the new forest. Now we've just stumbled across an old iron bit of gate, uh, iron bit of railway line, um, probably pre the time of the railway here, but used for bits and bobs. And this was used for, looks like it could have been some sort of minor level crossing gate. 
and um, the ironwork quite pitted and it uh, looks like the um, original gate hanger through here and uh, been ground off at the top and the actual top section is an H section. So uh, quite quaint and not quite in use today, it's just used, been used to hold up the fence because the gate here has um, a old telegraph pole for its gate post and the at Lions Hill Farm, no private access and a nice sign on the gate going back a few years um, I won't read it because I'm um, not supposed to but two pounds hmm, two pounds would be a significant amount of money well um, well that'd be about 100 years ago I think for two pounds to be a significant amount of money oh here's another um, railway line gate post on the other side as well look the railway line was built in the 1850s. 54. 1854. It was open. So um, after a while the lines would have had to been replaced and I think this hole here is an original fish plate hole to hold the two lines, to, two rails together where there was a join. We've been on the way to West Moors from uh, Ashley Heath and this is about a mile and a half, two miles out and this is what we're aiming for, this bridge that is still intact obviously. Old railway lines have been used on this bridge as well but they're newer steel railway lines and this one has even got some writing on which I can't quite read. Um, the ends have been bent over a bit. This bridge is going to be the culmination of our walk. Nice that we got here. The green thing in the middle I think is a sewage pipe which has been added later. Well obviously been added later um, to go across that river or brook. But um, nice to have got to this bridge. It would have been a bit of a anti-climax if we hadn't. Um, it's nice that it's still intact. There uh, must have been uh, two, two, two railway lines here, two tracks 